Hey everybody, welcome to Friday Night Scripture Reading. Um, we're getting a late start tonight again, so we'll probably be short. Uh, I think I'm just going to read a psalm tonight, uh, Psalm 121. Um, praise God, J.E. got to come home, so glory to God for that. Um, I put out a prayer request on Facebook yesterday, and my friend said it was okay if I made it public, so um, keep praying for my friend Joe Hurd. Uh, he goes up to Ridgeview. We played music together for several years. He was the drummer and I was the bass player, so um, he and I are really close, and he had a heart attack, and he uh, had a stent put in today, and they sent him home today, so praise God he got to go home after quite an eventful couple of days. Um, pray for the Rogers family, the pastor of Ridgeview, uh, John Rogers. He lost his father. The funeral was tonight. And that's what has led me to our scripture reading for tonight. This psalm was read um, at the funeral, and I wanted to read it. We can all use this kind of encouragement each and every day. It'd be good for us to read a psalm every day, wouldn't it? But... Um, Psalm 121, I'm reading out of the King James tonight. It says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Hey, praise God for his word. Such a short psalm. Eight little verses but so much theology in that we could spend weeks and months and the rest of our life trying to analyze that and not even scratch the surface of it praise god for the reading of his word um do want to remind you guys as i was reminded this week that sunday is mother's day and yeah that's a uh, made-up holiday but we still better celebrate it or we'll be in trouble with our mothers and our wives but more importantly than it being mother's day is it's the lord's day and praise god if he wills it we'll get to gather together to worship him 10 a.m sunday school 11 a.m corporate worship service y'all have a great weekend goodbye